What's going on guys? Welcome back to another luxury home tour. My name is Darren and today we're going to give you a full tour of this brand new home behind me located in Venice, just a couple of blocks away from Venice Beach. This home features a total of seven bedrooms, six bathrooms, 4,379 square feet of interior space, and is currently on the market for just under $4.5 million. Starting our tour at the front entrance, we walk through this very private and secure gate with multiple ways to lock. And as we walk through that gate, there's another door that leads you into this grassy space in your yard that's very private and secure with a bunch of landscaping around it. As we make our way to the front entrance, we walk up a couple of steps and we are covered by this outdoor staircase that leads you up to the guest house. That we'll show you at the end of the video. And this is such a private and serene area. At the front door, you can just have a seat, read a book in the morning maybe. And then check this out. There is a gate on the side of the house that leads you to the back of the house and the garage. So anyone that may be staying at the guest house has easy access up there. All right, let's go inside. And we're inside. I wanted to thank Hoff Genois Architecture, Design and Build for letting us tour their incredible property. Upon entrance, you are greeted by this open floor plan spaced out to the dining room, living area, and just in front of us is this beautiful limestone on this wall. And a table in front to place any of your keys or accessories when you arrive in your house. The first bedroom's to my right, staged as an office currently, that will show you. We've got a closet right next to it, and a French door that leads out to that grassy yard that I told you a little earlier. We've got your own private oasis out here. Just a great space to maybe have your dogs run around, but it is just so private with all the high landscaping. It wraps around to some outdoor courtyards as well. That we'll show you in a bit. And now let's head into this first guest room of the home, currently staged as an office. This is a very spacious office with one of the most powerful and sturdy office desks I've ever seen. They did a great job in staging this entire home. We are front facing, cornered off with windows on two walls, and then a French door that leads out to that side yard. We've got lots of floating shelf space up in this corner and a closet over here, but let's get out of here and show you the main living areas of the home. Opening up to the main living area, we've got the formal dining space to my right with some nice light fixtures above. We've got the formal living room right here with some more of these unique light fixtures above and these sliding doors that open up to a nice outdoor seating space, courtyard area to just relax and it is very private as well. Behind me is a fireplace with a floating ledge beneath it. You can have a TV right above so you can watch whatever you want in your open space. Floating shelf space in the corner as well for more storage. And this is just a great area overall to have guests over and to just hang out, spend most of the time in this home. One thing you're going to be seeing a lot of throughout this home are the walnut wood, as we have walnut wood floorings, walnut wood staircase to my left, and then check this out, one of my favorite parts of the home. Into the kitchen, we have a walnut wood breakfast bar that is elevated over the center island. This is an absolutely gorgeous kitchen overall and very unique. Let's show you guys some of the details here. 
One of them being this beautiful tile along this side of the island. And let's show you this side of the kitchen. Behind me is a walnut wood paneled fridge and freezer. There are a lot of details throughout this entire home and we're gonna show you everything. Check out how this seamlessly blends all together with the fridge and freezer. We've got quartz countertops with a waterfall edge. We've got a floating shelf up in the corner and some beautiful white brick throughout the walls of this entire kitchen. Below me is your unique Bertazzoni oven. Look at that. It just looks like a classic oven right there and a smaller one next to it. Six burner gas stove and your gold pot filler up on this quartz backsplash. Moving along the kitchen, built-in microwave on the island. More quartz countertops throughout with the second sink. And look at these black tinted cabinets above. And the countertops extend along this wall as well with a flat screen TV above so you can watch your favorite shows while you're cooking up some nice meals for the family. Even more floating shelf space to my left above. And last but not least, an incredible light fixture hanging right above the center island. And the kitchen is adjacent to these pocket doors that open up to this outdoor courtyard. This is another one of my favorite spaces of this home. I know I've got a lot of them, but this space we are completely enclosed, very private. We've got an outdoor Napoleon barbecue grill. We've got limestone throughout with the stone countertops and hexagon tiling on the backsplash with two lights right above. We've got your outdoor dining table right off the barbecue grill and adjacent to the kitchen so you can potentially have all of your meals out here. And take a look at the exterior of the home covered in limestone going all the way up to the rooftop deck. That we're gonna show you at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that one. All right, let's close off these pocket doors and show you what the rest of this first floor has to offer. As we keep moving down this hall, there is a wine cooler right here. Some more cabinet space, pantry area. To my right is the second and last bedroom on this first level. Another cozy bedroom featuring plenty of space, closet storage over in that corner and it is en suite. Let's show you the bathroom. One thing you'll be seeing throughout this home is that every bathroom is very unique. We've got a floating vanity, and I love these latches in the cabinetry right here. We've got motion censored, very bright light fixtures on either side of this circular mirror. On the flooring, we have more of those hexagon tiles, the same ones that we saw in that outdoor courtyard area, and they lead up into the shower and we've got it on the wall of the shower niche as well with some more gorgeous tile around it. And there is a chrome rain shower head in the very center on the ceiling. Directly out of this room, back down the hallway, so we've got the powder room, the garage, and the laundry room. And right here is a little nook area so you can place your keys or whatever you might need coming into your house through the garage. It's a nice space, gives it a nice touch with the black backsplash as well. Now let's show you the powder room. Unique vanity in this powder room with some quartz countertops and you've got that great hinted cabinetry below. Motion sensor light in here and just take a look at this wavy textured backsplash. It is incredible, gives you that Venice Beach theme, something a little different than some of the other bathrooms we'll be seeing. Just in front of the powder room is a window that brings in lots of natural light to this hallway and it looks out into the outdoor dining space. Before we go into the garage, let's show you the laundry room. It features a floating metal shelf and above are floating cabinets with tinted doors. We've got a sink right below it with gold fixtures. And let's get out of here and show you the garage.
We've got very high ceilings in this garage, easy to store any SUVs or tall cars you might have, Range Rovers, G-Wagons, whatever you might need. But it opens up to a tall wooden gate that leads you to your street. And if you follow me to either side, there are two spaces for a carport, one on both sides. This is a great space to park your car and walk down the side yard, up those stairs into the guest house as well. As you enter your house through your garage, you walk down the hall, set your keys over on the table, and follow me this way, we're gonna go upstairs. Before we head up the stairs, I love this touch where underneath the stairs is planked with more of that walnut wood. And we have a window that looks out into that courtyard outdoor dining area that we've been seeing. And let's go, let's head up the stairs. We have these black beams that go all the way up to the ceiling and you see the staircase looks like it's never ending as it goes all the way up to the rooftop deck. We've got another window bringing in natural sunlight to this stairway and we have arrived to the second level of the home. Upon entrance, we see some closet space immediately and there are a total of three bedrooms, including the master on this level. Let's show you the first one to my right. The first bedroom on this second level features some floating shelves to my left and a built-in floating wood desk. Closet space, plenty of storage space around. More floating shelf space built into the wall behind me and this room is en suite as are the others. Let's show you the bathroom. Now this is a very spacious bathroom with unique gray tilings on the floors that lead into the shower. And similar to what we saw in the downstairs bathroom, those tiles lead into the shower niche. I really like that touch. And the rain shower head hangs directly from the center of the ceiling, this one being of brass. And you have a lot of brass features in the cabinetry as well on this vanity with another motion sensor light. Out of this bedroom, take a look at more of that limestone we have up on this wall. And then to my left are sliding doors that open up to a beautiful balcony that wraps around and connects to the master bedroom. And we just overlook that barbecue grill and outdoor dining area. And I love this space. This palm tree keeps us enclosed and makes it a very private area. And again, just take a look at the exterior of the home with that limestone going up all the way to the rooftop deck. The sunlight is coming down on this space. This is just one of my, again, one of my favorite parts of this home. Absolutely incredible. But let's go back inside and show you the other rooms. Before we show you the last two bedrooms on this level, we have a landing area, common space for the kids. If they don't wanna go downstairs to hang out, they can do it right here. You can put a TV on the wall. We have another unique light fixture, as you saw downstairs in this common area. Let's take a look at the bedroom behind me. I love the staging throughout this entire home. You can see that each room has its own theme to it. This room is side facing. We've got a spacious walk-in closet where the walnut wood flooring leads all the way into. And this room is en suite as well. Let's show you this bathroom. This one features a floating vanity with more of those quartz countertops. The charcoal colored backsplash adds a nice dark touch to this bathroom. And then motion sensor light bulbs above that we've been seeing in some of the other ones. And the shower has a built-in bathtub in here. So this room would be typically for a younger sibling. Leading out of that room, before we show you the master, I wanted to mention there are two more bedrooms in the guest house that you enter through those stairs in the side yard. That will show you after this one, but let's do it master bedroom. Here in your master bedroom, 
First, when you walk in, you notice behind the bed more of those white brick features throughout. To my left is the sliding door that opens up to the balcony, connecting to the hallway over there that we showed you a bit earlier. And right in front of me are two modern barn doors that lead into your walk-in closet and master bathroom. Let's show you both of those. Barn doors are honestly just so satisfying, you just open them up very smoothly, leading you into the closet. Being that there's a mirror behind me, it feels like this closet is never ending, but there is plenty of storage space for all of your clothes on both sides of me. A little makeup area with a mirror to my left. But now let's show you the master bathroom. Come on in here, check it out. Your luxury Venice Beach master bathroom. Lots of details to show you guys in this master bathroom, starting with the extended vanity with the quartz countertops, walnut wood cabinetry, and this built-in concrete sink. Dual faucets up on this tiled backsplash and two classic light fixtures hanging from a bronze rod. Over on this side, we have some more of that walnut wood placed on this wall next to the bathtub with a little niche right there so you can store any of your shampoo or whatever you might need. And check this out. This light fixture was shipped directly from Egypt. That's not something you see every day. Of course, the freestanding bathtub is incredible. And then zoom into these tiles that are stamped with Rome and Italian features on them. Look at that. To my right is a door that closes off to the toilet room. I love this little accent right here where you can hang your towels. And then these shower doors are not something you see every day. Normally you just see those glass shower doors, but we have some black accented French shower doors that lead you into your oversized shower, rain shower head from the ceiling, and then another one on the walls. Beautiful tile all throughout and your floating quartz shower ledge. Well, we're getting close to the end of our video here, touring this brand new construction home in Venice. Raul, let me ask you a question, as we've been doing throughout these videos, what has been your favorite part of this home so far? Man, this one was pretty unique. Uh, I really loved the living room, how warm it was. I uh, loved the wood flooring. And you know, throughout the whole house, you have that wood flooring and the kitchen was very, very nice. Very elegant, very... Uh... Oh, yeah. Plenty of uh, walnut wood features throughout the home. One of them I really love is right behind us, behind the bathtub. That's something unique, adds a nice touch to it. I would have to say my favorite part is the breakfast bar right up off the kitchen. That walnut wood breakfast bar is something you don't see too often at all. But let's continue our tour and show you what's next. We have finished up with the entire master bedroom and behind me, you'll be able to see the exterior of the home, more of that limestone that leads all the way up to the rooftop deck. But before we show you the rooftop deck, we're gonna head out to the side yard where those stairs are that lead to the guest house. Let's go there now. As I said, these stairs lead up into your guest house featuring two bedrooms. To get here, you either enter through this side gate in the front entrance or behind you is the side yard that leads you all the way to the garage. But let's go up there and show you how it looks. And here we are. Welcome to your luxury guest house. Now this can be an entire home on its own as there's a full size kitchen, living room, dining area, and two bedrooms that we'll show you guys. Starting with the kitchen, beautiful center island with quartz countertops. You've got everything you need, fridge and freezer, your oven, five burner gas stove, built in microwave, and look at this gorgeous cabinetry. What color do you guys think that is? Let us know in the comments what color you think these cabinets are. More quartz countertops and then beautiful tiled backsplash all throughout. You also get an incredible amount of natural sunlight coming in here as there are windows in each corner of this space. Above me are three skylights and then two more in front of me. There's honestly just so much potential in this guest house. It can act as a duplex or you can rent it out to really anyone. There is a full size washer and dryer hookup to my left. And in this hall are two bedrooms. We're gonna show you some B-roll of both of those.
There is a bathroom between both of these bedrooms. Let's show you this one. Another unique bathroom, different from all the other ones that we've been seeing. Just take a look at this smooth cabinetry. We've got this light fixture above looking like two lightsabers pointing in either direction and a massive circular skylight above me in the center of this bathroom, brightening up this space. To my left is the shower with a built-in bathtub and more of the same tiles that we've seen on the walls in some of the other showers. There was for this entire guest house. Now we are going to jump back into the main house to the stairway and show you the rooftop deck. Let's do it. And here we are, through the door behind me, let's show you the rooftop deck. And here we are, your beautiful Venice Beach rooftop deck. How can it get any better than this? Honestly, it extends the entire length of your rooftop. We've got it staged with lots of seating areas behind me, a fire pit in the center, and yeah, just really unlimited potential up here to do whatever you want. If you want some more outdoor dining areas. It's such a great day out today. Clear skies, beautiful LA weather. You can see all the way to the hills. And yeah, on a good day, you can get a glimpse of the ocean as well. And there it was. We just gave you a full tour of this beautiful brand new construction home located in Venice, Los Angeles. As always, if you guys stayed till the end of the video, please hit the like button down below. We really appreciate it and it really helps out our channel tremendously. Hit the subscribe button to stay tuned for more as we're posting two videos a week currently. I also wanted to thank Hoff Genois Architecture and Design again for letting us tour their incredible home and we'll see you on the next one.